All right, everyone, we'd like to call the regular city council meeting to order at 6.06 .06 p.m. Madam Clerk, can you please call the roll? Here. 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 Will everyone please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance? This time we'd like to call Pastor Stokes up for a word of prayer. Good evening, Mayor. Let us pray. Father, we come boldly before your throne of grace tonight. We give you thanks and praise that your ears are open to our prayers and your eyes are upon this city. We come tonight interceding for Calumet City. We ask that you would continue to uphold and keep your hands up on this mayor, these city leaders, the older men and women. We ask that you would keep your hand up on the police department, the fire department, the emergency services, and all who help to keep this community moving forward. We ask tonight, God, that you would incline your ear to our prayer and keep the residents safe from all harm and danger. We give you thanks for the schools who have been safely operating. We give you thanks that you have protected the residents on the streets as they go about their duties and their goals and visions. We ask tonight that you would continue to give us wisdom and guidance to move the city forward to bring peace, prosperity, and stability. Your word declares to us that we should trust you with all of our hearts, lean not to our own understanding, but in all of our ways acknowledge you, and you would direct our paths. We thank you tonight for directing our paths. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. So before we begin tonight, I know many of you are here about the snow route changes. Recently, the Calumet City Council met to discuss the snow route changes and made uh, revisions to the streets uh, to have a better system uh, not only with uh, our public works department but we also with our public uh, works committee we had a committee of the whole uh, this snow route ordinance has been on our books for years and it's our goal to make sure that our streets are safe uh, recently we got new uh, snow trucks uh, to make sure that our streets are clean uh, our plan is to make sure that uh, if the streets that don't have driveways that we're going to accommodate, uh, we put on the snow route sign. We had to put the signs up uh, for legal notice uh, to tow cars, possibly tow cars. We're going to relocate cars this year. We're not going to tow cars and charge residents. It's our goal to make sure that our plows can get down streets and also that our public works, our fire department, uh, in the event of a snow emergency that they can get down streets safely. So we have roughly 56 streets uh, that we're looking at uh, that are designated snow routes. Uh, we are going to send out letters to residents letting them know in the event that snow is over two inches, uh, we're going to implement this emergency plan to make sure that our streets are safe. There are many streets that are impassable uh, because there are a lot of cars on these streets. Again, we have um, relocation points uh, that our police department is going to put out. We're going to put it on our city website to make sure residents are clear about what we're doing. Uh, but we want to make sure that we get our streets clean this year uh, without any incident, uh, without any reports of damaged vehicles, uh, without any reports of, uh, of uh, anything that residents can think of. And we just ask residents to be mindful and, and give us time to work this out. Uh, we are going to enforce this this year uh, to make sure that our streets are impassable. Are passable. Uh, so I ask for your patience uh, as we lay out this uh, snow plan, but we have uh, revised our equipment at Public Works thanks to uh, our Chairman uh, Alderman Navarrete and our committee. Uh, but we are, and also what we've done uh, in our city. So we want to make sure that we, we do this the right way. And I know many of you are, are upset about it, 
but we have to do this to make sure that uh, our city is safe. So that said, uh, our next item is public comment. Is there anyone who would like to step forward in public comment uh, for the record and uh, state your name? All right, good evening, everyone. My name is Mia Cole Nelson, and I am a resident of the Seventh Ward. I live in the 1300 block of, uh, on Mackinac. Um, I respectfully, I heard everything you said, Mayor Jones, and um, we appreciate the change. We do know that it's been an ordinance that was never enforced. But I stand here asking, not just you, the aldermen's, the city council to consider that some of us don't have driveways. Some of us cannot get in our, dry, in our garages because as I talk to my neighbors, some of their garages are being used for storage. There was not a proper notice. And I'm not opposed, and my, my neighbors are not opposed to the snow route, but both sides being tagged. So if you put the sign on one side, that gives us the opportunity to at least move to the other side, and by the end of the business day, when we come home from work, then we will proceed to do what we've done many years, is move to the other side that was plowed. Mackinac, for the, I've been in Calumet City for 22 years, I've been on Mackinac for at least 17 years. We work together, whereas we knock on doors, letting the neighbors know, or trying to encourage them to move your car to one side. But if you continue to have two non-parking for two inches, where do we go? Where do we park? Especially for those who do not have driveways. And then you say uh, park in the garage. They don't plow the uh, alleys. I do understand that that could be something that you're going to enforce, but we need time to adjust. Um, as a woman that works from 8.30 to possibly 5.00, 30 at night, I don't drive my car every day. Sometimes I get on Metro. Sometimes I carpool. So if I'm at work and it uh, snows, that's two inches. Now I'm going to be concerned with, i.e., my car being towed. Uh, and even if it's relocated, I'm a single woman. When I come home, it's dark. Now I have to go find my car or either find or ask a neighbor to take me to my car. Again, I stand before everyone here asking you to consider not doing both sides of the street. Consider one side and let the working people have the opportunity to come home and move their cars to the other side of the street. Again, we work together. We've bought snow plows ourselves, uh, snow uh, uh, blowers ourselves, and we literally help our neighbors out. Not only do we help our neighbors out, we help our elderly neighbors that have been in the community, community longer than we have. So uh, I understand your plan. But I will say this, that's why Mayor Michelle never enforced it, because she knew that it would cause some problems. But I stand before everybody, I'm not against it, but it's not fully thought out to consider your taxpayers. Do one side of the street. And again, that gives us the opportunity to come back after work. Now everybody shifts to the other side. Again, um, when you talk about relocating cars, you may not be imposing a fine or a towing fee, but then you towing cars, it can cause damage to cars. So again, I understand what you're trying to do, but I'm asking everybody to consider us. This is a last minute thing here. I'll clean my garage out, but I can't get it done, you know, right at this point. But before we move on to, make, to do that, making sure that we're prepared to, to uh, clean the alleys at the proper time last year, our garbage stayed in our alley at least four weeks, at least three at the most, I give it that. I'm not complaining, but I'm asking you guys to consider us, the taxpayers, because there are a lot of women on my block that have kids, and again, there's houses out there that don't have garages. We're not opposed to one side, but we're asking city council to consider just that, and we will do our part on our end, knocking on the doors, telling the rest of the neighbors, move back over now, move back over. So I hope everybody, please take that in consideration, Thaddeus, please. Thank so you. thank you. Is there anyone else who would like to comment on the public comment? 
George Grenchik, 457 Freeland, here in town. I want to be, uh, would like to welcome what probably is the newest citizen of Calumet City. I don't know, do you think she still is? Who knows? Camilla Isabella Navarrete, and congratulate her father, the alderman of the First Ward, and her mother, Cynthia. I used to keep an eye on those two when they were in junior high, and I kind of kept them separate, but I guess they've found a way to get together after all. So congratulations to the Navarrete family. And I would also like to uh, invite everyone in the chamber and all of those at the vast public access viewing uh, audience. Uh, the church, Jesus Shepherd of Souls, the combination of the three Catholic churches, former Catholic, well, they're still Catholic churches, but they're now one, St. Andrew's, St. Victor, and Our Lady of Knock. We are going to run from now till the end of the year a non-food drive. Non-food drive simply means that people on SNAP cannot purchase things like uh, toilet paper, uh, paper towels, dishwashing liquid, uh, clothes liquid, uh, clothes, you know, uh, laundry soap, things like that with their assistance. Uh, so we're asking people to bring things to the rectory, which is the former St. Andrew's rectory on Lincoln and the 155th place during uh, the regular hours. I think it's nine to three. That's a kind of a short day, but anyway, nine to three, uh, and then we'll take it over to the resource center and hand it out as needed uh, on our regular operation days, which are Monday and Tuesday, 9.30 to 11.30. So if anybody out there, uh, non-food things, toilet paper, paper towels, Kleenex, toothpaste, deodorant, all those kind of things that you can't eat because you cannot buy those kind of things with SNAP. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, Mr. Greenwich. Good evening, everyone. My name is Paulette Nelson, 1300 Block of Imperial Avenue. I just want to thank Public Works for doing a good job on our block and the chief for removing that car for me. You all are doing a great job. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Is there anyone else who would like to comment on their public comment? Uh, for the record, we have uh, at 616, Alderman Gardner, uh, for the record. And then at 619, we have Alderman, Alderman Wilson um, on the record. Is there anyone else doing public comment? Not the next item on the agenda, item five, approval of minutes. The minutes were sent to the Alderman to review. Uh, are there any comments or any additions, corrections to the minutes so stated on the agenda? If not, can someone entertain a motion to approve the minutes? So moved. Second. Motion made by Alderman Smith, second by Alderman Gardner. Madam Clerk, can you please call the roll? Yes. 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 Next item, item six, reports of standing committees. Um, finance, Alderman Gardner. Not tonight. No, thank you. Thank you, Alderman. Public safety, Alderman Williams. Nothing tonight, Mayor. Thank you. Thank you, Alderman. Public utilities, Alderman Padden. Uh, I have a report for one. Go ahead, Alderman. Uh, he wants the residents to know that comment is excited to announce that scholarship applications are officially open. The Future of Energy Scholarship provides young adults that are pursuing a two or four year college degree in an energy related field with up to $10,000 in a scholarship designed to be used towards college tuition and related expenses. The top three to four applicants will also receive an internship offer pending successful completion of the hiring process. Applications are being accepted now and until Wednesday, November the 30th, 2022. For full scholarship information and application, please visit www.need.force.com forward slash com ed forward slash s forward slash scholarship hyphen information. That concludes the public utility report. Thank you. Thank you, Alderman. Ordinance and resolution, Alderman Tillman. 
Thank you, Mayor. Uh, the Ordinance and Resolutions Committee had a committee of the whole meeting on uh, November 19th where we discussed pending legal matters, uh, but no action was taken at the meeting. Uh, that is all. Thank you. Thank you, Alderman. Health, Education, and Welfare, Alderman Wilson. Thank you. Uh, I am putting together a event this month. Uh, we will send out the invitations to any resident who has a 501c3 in good standing. We're gonna walk you through applying for grants and um, obtaining monies that are allocated for certain grants here in our city as well as state of Illinois. Please text me at 708-586-4990, your name, your nonprofit name, and how we can contact you. Or you may message me directly via email on alderwomanwilson.com. Thank you. Thank you, Alderman. Permits and licenses, Alderman Smith. No report at this time. <clears throat> Thank you, Alderman. Public Works, Alderman Everette. Thank you, Mayor. A uh, quick reminder to residents to continue to please um, rake your leaves into the parkway uh, in between the curb and the sidewalk. Do not uh, rake your leaves into the street in case of snowfall that will clog our, our, sewer, our sewer heads and, and cause more of an issue. So please keep the leaves uh, in the parkway uh, near the curb uh, in the grass between uh, the sidewalk and the curb. And also just to quickly um, uh, briefly talk about snow routes. Uh, residents, if you can continue to, to voice your concerns, uh, we will certainly consider them um, and consider amendments to this uh, in the future. But again, I think the goal here is to make sure that we can get safe passage for emergency vehicles through some of our streets. Um, it certainly is not um, our intent to tow cars, but uh, I'm sure our public works and public safety will use discretion uh, this year, but we need to continue to, to move this forward. But feedback is certainly welcome. Um, that's all this evening, Mayor. Thank you. Thank you. So residents, uh, you should be aware that now it's construction season and, you know, through the support of City Council, we have a lot of construction going on in our city. Uh, a lot of streets being done. Um, We've gotten money from the state of Illinois, from the federal government, uh, streets that uh, were long not uh, looked at, we have looked at. Um, so I'm asked our city engineer to give a report on the amount of funds we've gotten and also the streets that are under construction now. Um, so I will turn it over to Matt Berger from Farnsworth, our engineer.
And also, Matt is being kind because we, we also finished 159th Street construction on, on that, uh, also Burnham Avenue, um, and we're doing work on Sibley as well. Yes, that's right. So, yeah. Just got to remind you of the streets we did. So. <laughs> and there's other things too, man, that yeah, going out to you will see uh, with the water and the also too. So, you can mm -hmm. right. Thank you. Um, so also in the audience, I want to recognize our uh, other city officials. We have our public works commissioners, deputy commissioners, Jericho Thomas in the back, Josh Brown, Zach Quackenbush. Uh, we also have our fire chief, uh, Glenn Bockert, our community economic development department, uh, Don Oleski, our police chief, uh, Kolosh. We also have uh, from our community economic department, Val William. Uh, and also Deanne Jeffrey, our chief of staff. Um, under the mayor's report, uh, we have, uh, I know Alvin Gardner, I always mess up the name, but the neighborhood. Neighborhood Housing Services. Neighborhood Housing Service. So we're going to call Val Williams up to talk about this program for our seniors in our community. Um, we have witnessed a lot of grant money coming in to help not only repair homes, repair streets, but also to provide resources to residents. This program is strictly for seniors uh, and provides up to $5,000 to repair your home. So Val, if you want to take it over and explain. Good evening, everyone. Uh, the Neighborhood Housing Service of Chicago, we refer to it as NHS, received a significant amount of money to help seniors that are 60 years of age and older who have minor repairs, uh, things that flooring and, and, and um, um, things that would help improve quality of life, just $5,000 that they normally wouldn't have to just fix. Most of the projects don't require a building permit, and it makes it easier for, for us to apply that money to the actual project. The organization decided that they wanted to do Calumet City. 98% of the funds that they received will be assisting Calumet City residents. Right now, we have a waiting list. Mary, you saw the waiting list. Uh, from every single section of the city, every single ward. Um, I'm hopeful they'll be able to assist all of them, but if not, then we can come back to the council with uh, another objective or another proposal. Thank you, Val. We'll make sure we share that with the alderman as well, because that, it is a, a nice waiting list, but it's a great program for our seniors. Uh, the next item I want to, uh, tomorrow is Veterans Day, so I, in honor of my brother who was a veteran and my dad, uh, brother served in the Marines, dad served in the Army. I want to not only thank them for their service, but uh, yesterday Alderman Gardner had a veterans uh, resource fair for the veterans. Uh, just encourage everyone tomorrow, hug a veteran, call a veteran, uh, take them out to dinner, coffee, uh, but thank them for their service to our community. Uh, I know tomorrow is an off day, but we need to celebrate and recognize but it's really not an off day because people fought for our country and fought that we can be here as elected officials and also serve our community. So please do that tomorrow. Thank a veteran, call them, and just uh, do something special. Uh, next item, uh, many of you uh, today on the agenda, we are changing our council meeting in, in recognition of the holidays that are coming up. Our next city council meeting is usually the fourth Thursday. Uh, the next council meeting will be November 21st at 6 p.m. It's Monday. So please uh, don't come on the Thursday because we won't be here. But it's Monday, November 21st, uh, and then we'll return to the regular one in December, uh, and then we'll make the other changes. Uh, also, we want to invite residents to our tree lighting, uh, which will be Friday, December 2nd. Please come out. Uh, we have a lot of uh, exciting items planned for the tree lighting. Uh, we are also doing uh, our event, the tree lighting, in conjunction with the uh, Cayman Memorial Park District. So we want to make this uh, a nice tree lighting ceremony for our city. It's December 2nd at 
5 p.m. here at City Hall. Starts at 5 p.m., 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. Uh, the next item, uh, I would, uh, I am using my authority to reappoint Deanne Jaffrey to the Fire Pension Committee for 30 days. Um, I am anticipating to report the full appointment to the City Council uh, in January, just so the Council can take action on it. But at this time, I have used my authority to appoint Deanne Jeffrey for 30 days to the Fire Pension uh, Committee. Under City Council reports, uh, let's start on this side, Alderman Smith. I uh, just want to remind the Southern Board residents, our next uh, town, home, uh, town hall meeting will be uh, on November the 19th, Saturday, from 10 a.m. to noon at 24 State Street at the Cayman City Public uh, Training Center. Thank you. Thank you, Alderman. Fifth Ward Alderman Garden. Good evening, Mayor. Thank you. Um, well, last night, my office hosted the second Veterans Resource Fair. I want to thank the American Legion Postery 30 for opening their doors. I want to also thank them, along with the DFW Post 8141 and the Chicago Veterans uh, Area, Chicago Area Veterans Forum, in their partnership with this event. I would like to thank all my colleagues that showed up last night, Alderman Wilson, Alderman Smith, Alderman Williams, uh, City Treasurer Jerry Tarka, City Clerk Figs, Mayor Jones, thank you guys for your attendance and showing up. Uh, special thanks to Thornton Township Assessor Cassandra Hobart Elston. Elston, she provided veterans with uh, information related to property taxes. Special thanks to my wife, Lincoln Elementary School Board member Crystal Gardner, uh, who helped coordinate the event. Thanks to Hope Street Health, Chicago Heights Veterans Center, Illinois Department of Veteran Affairs, and Honor Flight Chicago. Uh, I would like to give kudos to Animal Control in their efforts in locating a lost puppy in the fifth floor. I had a resident contact my office uh, regarding her puppy that got lost. The dog's name is Cooper. Cooper was missing for eight days. And so uh, the hard work of the Animal Control Department, they were able to get Cooper back home with Cooper's family. So she was very happy about that. Um, she contacted me and told me that she will be taking some food down to uh, animal control. So I don't know if they received the food, but she was very thankful. Um, and lastly, I would like to remind all of the fifth ward residents to attend the fifth ward meeting. It's going to be held Monday, November the 14th at the Jesus Shepherd of Souls Church. It's going to be 768 Lincoln Avenue. Uh, we're going to start at 6 o'clock. We'll be out of there at 7.30 if the mirror don't go crazy. 7.30, 6 o'clock to 7.30. Uh, he's talking about ordering pizza. But we also will have light refreshments. So if, you know, if the mayor don't get long with it, we'll be out of there at 7.30. Uh, the clerk's office is going to attend that event as well. Am I right? Uh, they will be in attendance as well. So I uh, look forward to seeing all of you all there at that event. And then after that, we're going to get ready for the holiday. That's all I got. Have a good night. Thank you, Alderman. Alderman Williams, Fort Fort. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, first one down to God who makes all things possible. I want to thank the participants um, that uh, came out to the Trunk or Treat, um, those that played some part in the success of that event. I heard it was over a uh, thousand um, kids that was there, so I want to uh, thank everyone for participating in that event. Um, the food box giveaway, the annual food box giveaway will be November 18th, no, November 19th at uh, two locations. One is at Sand Ridge Fitness Center uh, from 10 to 11.30 and then at Bernardine, Ma no, at uh, Ginger Ridge from 11.30 to um, 1. Then, but prior to that, on the day before, the Bernardine Manor annual pre-Thanksgiving dinner will be November 18th. Uh, it is open to the public, but if you are uh, planning on attending, uh, please give me a call. If you are not a resident of Bernadine Manor, you need to RSVP so that we can make the proper accommodations for everyone. And you can call 708-212-2240. Uh, that's the mayor. Oh, I want to wish every veteran in the room and all those under the, uh, under the, the, the sound of my voice a very happy Veterans Day. 
And let's wish uh, Alderman Williams, who's a veteran, happy Veterans Day as well. So, free food all day tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, Alderman. Alderman Tillman. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, I want to let the residents know about the Third War Annual Turkey Giveaway. It will be Saturday, November 19th, 10 a.m. at Downey Park, 300 Jeffrey Avenue. Uh, please call my office at 708-891-8193 to reserve the turkey. Um, again, that's Saturday, November 19th at 10 a.m. Uh, and that will be uh, held at Downey Park 300 Jeffrey. Um, also, uh, the uh, third and fourth ward uh, town hall uh, meeting will be held December 5th at 6.30 p.m. Also at Downey Park 300 Jeffrey. Uh, thank you, that's all, Mayor. Thank you. Alderman Wilson, second ward. Thank you. Uh, for the months of November and December, we will not have any ward meetings. I want you all to enjoy your families as I will enjoy mine. Uh, during this holiday season. As we go into celebrating Veterans Day, I thank you all for being consistently neighborly and always appreciating our veterans that live in our ward and lending a helping hand, especially for our senior veterans that need the help. Thank you. Uh, I would like to say a final farewell to my lovely intern, Gia. She has decided to attend Morehouse Medical School full time now. So she is uh, relocating back to Georgia. Um, I do want everyone to check AlderWomanWilson.com on the website or my social media pages. Starting next week, the registration for our second annual, second ward Christmas event will open up. That event will be held December 17th in partnership with Blue Cross Blue Shield and Amazon. If you had the opportunity to be in attendance, which I see some of my residents and those that were in attendance uh, last year, we're trying to do that again this year um, with a twist. Uh, thank you for the donations of hats, scarves, and gloves. We are still collecting hats, scarves, and gloves for the children of Calumet City. If you have any donations, please contact me either on my, uh, via text at 708-586-4990 or email mwilson at calumetcity.org and a member of my team will come and retrieve those items. Again, happy Veterans Day and thank you. Thank you, Alderman. Alderman Everette. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, another, uh, I'll continue on, on the topic of Burnham Avenue. I want to thank the, the mayor and our city engineers for, for their report, but just to piggyback off of that, the DCEO grant that was recently received for Burnham, uh, around $800,000, was submitted um, for streetscape and branding of the corridor. I know Burnham Avenue Heritage Corridor was thrown out there. They used to be a, a downtown district uh, here for us in Calumet City. We've all known that it's uh, since become a little, um, uh, a little vacant, a lot of vacant properties, not as many businesses as it, as it used to be. Uh, but we're looking to revitalize that with branding. Um, it's my push to go ahead and, and use it for uh, starting on Memorial Drive it would be uh, something that I would like to do. Uh, a bump out um, that would shorten the distance to crosswalk there on Memorial Drive. Uh, as we know, there's a lot of students that cross that street. Uh, to get to Wilson School or Wentworth School or Memorial Park or the St. Victor Church uh, that's part of Jesus Shepherd of Souls Parish. Um, so looking forward to having those meetings. Anyone who has any input on what that branding should look like, the extent of the branding, I'm sure we'll have some announcements to come. Uh, again, that's a lot of hard work to our grant writing team, our city engineers, the council here to continue to push for the Burnham vision, uh, that Burnham plan. Uh, another recommendation from the Burnham Plan, uh, we'll see on our agenda today, uh, is packaging parcels of land. Uh, there's two Burnham properties that the city's looking to acquire, uh, and that's one step towards us being able to go ahead and um, give that to a developer or someone without any back taxes uh, to go ahead and, and give that incentive to 
uh, develop a new business on Burnham Avenue. So we'll continue that work uh, on Burnham Avenue and look for the council support and um, those two properties that are on the agenda tonight. That's all, Mayor. Thank you. I uh, also want to um, thank uh, Governor Pritzker who came to Cayman City with the support of uh, Alderman uh, Tillman, Alderman Williams. Um, and we also had U.S. Senator Tammy Duckworth here um, on Tuesday as well. So I want to thank them for not only putting Cayman City in the spotlight, but coming to not only see our residents, talk to our residents, but the residents at Bernadine Manor really enjoyed the governor. Um, although there's no video of him dancing, uh, residents should know that the governor did dance with residents and had a good time. So if there is video, we would ask everybody not to show it, because the governor's not a good dancer, but he's a great governor. So I want to thank him for coming to Cayman City. We'll get a call about that in 30 minutes. Uh, exactly. Uh, informational items, item eight, uh, item eight A through E. Does anyone have any uh, questions regarding items eight A through E? If not, is there a motion to accept these uh, items and place them on file? So moved. Motion made by Alderman Williams. Is there a second? Second. Second by Alderman Smith. All in favor? Aye. Uh, All right. Thank you, everyone. Motion passes. Uh, item nine, um, nine A one through four. Uh, Mayor, um, can I uh, make a motion to amend item nine A one to include the language um, to direct and to direct the police and fire commission to offer their next conditional employment to the next eligible candidate on the hiring list due to the retirement of Captain Flanagan. Is there a second? <laughs> All right. Uh, adding the language to include uh, direct the police and fire commission to offer conditional employment to the next eligible candidate on the hiring list due to the retirement of Captain Michael Flanagan. So moved. Right. Okay. Um, items 9A1 through 4 as amended. Uh, there's a motion made by Alderman. Gardner. Can I interrupt this one? Mayor. Also, the condition includes promotions also as well. I believe that there might be another motion. Yeah. Is this is this for number one that you're amending? Yeah. Yeah. She could add the final. You know, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, Chief, we can't, we can't entertain any, any more motions tonight. It has to be on the official agenda with that. I know, but. Yeah. The amendment is appropriate, however, Chief. Is there a time frame? What's the window? Uh, I get transfer submitted from the You know, I'm sorry. So at this time, let's just entertain a motion to go into executive session to discuss employment of a specific individual pending litigation uh, briefly. Uh, is there a motion to go into executive session at 6.45 p.m.? Second. All in favor? All right. We'll be in a brief executive session. Is there a motion to return to regular order business at 6.53 p.m.? So moved. Motion made by Alderman Smith, second by Alderman Gardner. All in favor? Aye. 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 We are back on the regular order business. Um, for this item 9-1-A-1, uh, Alderman Gardner, Alderman Smith, would you, will you withdraw your first and your second? Yes, so moved. Yeah, so moved. For the record, Alderman Gardner, Alderman Smith withdraw their motion and their second. Alderman um, Williams, yes. please make the amended corrected motion. Now make a motion to amend item 9A1 
to include direct the police and fire commission to offer conditional employment to the next eligible candidate on the hiring list due to the retirement of Captain Flanagan and further direct the board to make the necessary promotions to reflect the retirement of Captain Flanagan. Second. Motion made by Alderman Williams, second by Alderman Gardner. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. I'm sorry. Roll call. Smith. Yes. 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 Thank you, everyone. Motion passes. Item 9A, 2, 3, and 4. Is there a motion to approve items, new business items 2, 3, and 4? So moved. Motion made by Alderman Williams. Is there a second? Second. Second by Alderman Smith. Roll call. Yes. Wilson. Yes. Tillman. Yes. Williams. Yes. Gardner. Yes. Smith. Yes. Thank you, everyone. Building permits, uh, garage construction. Uh, Alderman Navarrete. I'd like to make a motion to pass uh, building permits, uh, new garage construction B2, as presented. So moved. Second. Uh, motion made by Alderman Navarrete, second by Alderman Williams. Smith. Second by Alderman Smith. And clerk, uh, roll call. Wilson. Yes. Tillman. Yes. Williams. Yes. Smith. Yes. Arner. Yes. Yes. Thank you, everyone. Item C, your resolutions and ordinances, uh, one, two, and three. Are there any questions regarding item resolutions and ordinances one to three? Not uh, Alderman Tillman. I'd like to make a motion to approve items uh, C, one, two, and three as presented. Second. Uh, Motion made by Alderman Tillman, second by Alderman, Alderman Wilson. Roll call, clerk. Tillman? Yes. Williams? Yes. Gardner? Yes. Smith? Yes. Navarrete? Yes. Yes. Wilson? Yes. Thank you, everyone. Item D or uh, financial matters 1 through 50. Are there any questions regarding financial matters 1 through 50? Not Alderman Gardner. Yes, I would like to make a motion to approve the uh, financial matters B1 through 50 as so presented. Is there a second? Second. Second made by Alderman Smith. Madam Clerk, roll call, please. Smith. Yes. Madam Clerk, yes. Wilson. Yes. Yes. Tillman. Yes. Williams. Yes. Gardner. Yes. Thank you, everyone. Unfinished business. Alderman Navarrete. Thank you, Mayor. Just a little hearted thank you to all the veterans uh, out there. Thank you for your service. Um, certainly uh, appreciate everything. And I'll be sure to buy as much coffee, food, or whatever I can for a veteran tomorrow. That's all, Mayor. Oh, I'm sorry. And uh, Mr. George Wrench, a uh, happy birthday to him. I know he was hoping that my daughter, uh, uh, the birds of my daughter held out to his birthday, but, but she came a little early. so. They do not share that birthday, but happy birthday to Mr. George Grenchick, uh, eighth grade teacher of mine, Resource Center. Jesus Shepherd has sold us so much for the community. Um, just a happy birthday to him and hope, hope for many, many more to come. Thank you, Mayor. Happy birthday. Alderman Wilson, Unfinished Business. Thank you. Um, I had the opportunity of traveling and spending time with my oldest son who attends Morehouse College. And I just want to say I am proud of him and his classmates um, and the push that they made in Georgia uh, politi politically uh, to see them engage uh, on the ground to make a difference for not only themselves but the people around them is inspiring. Um, I also would like to say a happy early birthday to Karen Oliver of the 1700 building on Memorial. Um, we will party next week. And again, happy Veterans Day. Thank you, Alderman. Alderman Tillman. Thank you, Mayor. Um, I just want to wish a uh, happy Veterans Day to all the veterans, especially to my grandfather who lives in Calumet City. And I actually want to take this time to thank the fire department. Uh, my grandfather had an incident last week 
and the fire department went above and beyond to assist them. Uh, they actually didn't even know he was my grandfather. That's just what they do for the residents, and that's good. So thank you, Chief. Um, and that is all, Mayor. Alderman Wilson, I mean Williams. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, just want to remind the residents or make you aware of a flea market at Bernardine Manor tomorrow at 12 uh, p.m. So please feel free to come over and buy some something. I don't know what they have. But you get a blanket or a towel. I'm sure the prices will be very reasonable. <laughs> what, what's the time, all of them? I think it's 12, 12 p.m. 12, 12 to 2, something like that. 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. Uh, Bernardine Manor, 1700 Memorial Drive. It's Saturday. I'm sorry, Saturday. 12 p.m. at Bernardine Manor. Thank you, all. Thank you. Alderman Gardner, unfinished business. Yes, I would like to just echo what most of my colleagues have done. I would like to wish all the veterans a uh, happy Veterans Day. And also, I would like to congratulate my colleague, Alderman Navarrete, um, and her, his child. Um, and I would like to send my heartfelt condolences to the family of Cleo Jones. That's all I have. Thank you. Thank you, Alderman. Alderman Smith, unfinished business. I uh, just want to wish all of the uh, veterans in Cayman City as well as uh, in general happy, thank you for your service, happy Veterans Day. Uh, my sister was a veteran. Uh, she served for 12 years in the Army. So uh, definitely uh, military service is very important. Just want to thank you for that. Also, I uh, just want to remind the residents about the monthly town hall meeting every third Saturday from 10 a.m. to noon at the Calumet City Public Training Center at 24 State Street. Um, freshmen, like the freshmen will be served. And please continue to report any uh, vacant properties or any issues to the office at A. Smith at Calumet City at ORG or contact 773-837-024. Thank you. Thank you, Alderman. Mr. Treasurer, um, I'm going to say wishes to the veterans. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, God bless our veterans. Uh, they've given us the opportunity to uh, seek individual uh, fulfillment and uh, they safeguard us night and day. God bless you, veterans. Um, so, uh, yeah, I would like to say happy Vets Day. And my sister is a veteran, but my nephew is currently in boot camp as a Marine. So I'm so excited about that. So let's wish him well, and hopefully he successfully completes boot camp. And, so, uh, and thank you to all of the vets, and thank you for your service. Thank you, everyone. Uh, there being no further business to come before the City Council, is there a motion to adjourn at 7.02 p.m.? So Motion made by Alderman Smith, second by Alderman Williams. Meeting adjourned at 7.02 p.m. Thank you, everyone. Have a good night. <laughs>